getting fresh potatoes from your garden is both enjoyable and rewarding. Let's see how to grow potatoes in containers. So for the planting mix, I used Pro Mix HP, which is a great potting medium. And this has peat moss and perlite mixed in with a pH neutralizer as well. You can find seed potatoes in your local garden center and they're pretty cheap. I paid about two or three bucks for about 10 seed potatoes. So this is the container we will be using for growing our potatoes. This is called a row bucket and I got this from Walmart. So our first step is to add some soil at the base of the container. And what this does is it prepares the base for the seed potatoes to send out their roots. And now what we do is we take our seed potatoes and what we need to do is plant them here in this soil base that we created. So these are the seed potatoes. There are five of these seed potatoes that we will be planting in this container. And it doesn't really matter which way you plant them, but I usually look for these nodes that come out of these seed potatoes and then plant them accordingly. However, you cannot go much wrong even if you plant them in a different way, upside down. The potatoes will start growing and start sending out shoots. Now, if you still see some seed potatoes exposed uh, outside, what you can do is just add some more of your container mix. Now, the reason I like to use a container mix with peat moss and perlite is that it's really soft and fluffy, very easy for the plants to send out roots. And then you make sure that you add some water so that the potting mix is adequately moist, which helps the seed potatoes to grow. So it takes about 15 to 20 days for the potato seeds to start sending out the shoots. And after about 25 days, you can see a little new growth, which means your seed potatoes have started growing. And in about 30 days, you will see that the potatoes have now started growing a little larger. And once you see about six to eight inches of growth, you are ready for the next step of covering them with potting mix. Since I had limited amounts of the ProMix HP container mix, I decided to create a little bit of my own potting mix as well so that I could top off the potato plants. The potatoes were growing in a very large container, so I needed a lot more potting mix than what I had in my potting mix bag. So what I did was I combined some peat moss and perlite as you can see here. And what I'm going to show you now is how to cover the seedlings with the potting mix that we just created. Now why do we do this? Potatoes grow in such a way that the plants will get nutrition from all around the areas where it connects with the soil. And by adding more soil here, you give the potato plant a chance to send out potatoes right from the bottom of the container through quite a little distance upwards. So you get a bigger harvest if you follow this method of what is called as growing potato in trenches. So 40 days into the growing season, we are seeing that the potatoes have now formed some nice lush growth and the nutritional requirements for potatoes is pretty high, especially with nitrogen. Now that may be quite surprising because potatoes are a root vegetable and it's mostly grown for their roots or tubers. However, the potatoes do need a lot of nitrogen to create this lush foliage that you see here, the green leaves, the stems. And this is why a high nitrogen fertilizer is recommended. So you can use either of these options that you see on your screen. You can go with an organic fertilizer like fish or seaweed or compost tea. I've used a lot of compost tea this season to very good effect. And you also need to keep covering the plants with the same mix that we created as the plant grows until you fill the container with the potting mix. 
Now when you're adding the soil just make sure that the leaves are clean of any dirt. This helps reduce the number of diseases that the plants can get. And one thing to watch out for at this stage is any insects on the plants. Now for me for this potato I didn't find any insects attacking this potato plant. So I did not have to use any kind of insecticide or pesticide. However if you do see any insects you can just use a soap spray and that will take care of most. Now as the plant grows you need to make sure that you add fertilizer at least every four weeks and you can see that the potato plant has now grown really big and almost out of the container. Now to make your potato plants look better what you can do is just use a string to tie them together and they will grow really large so by using just a little string like this you can keep them in place. So how do you know when your potato plant is ready for harvest? Now usually if you want large potatoes you wait for all the foliage to dry and then wait for two to three weeks more before you start harvesting your potatoes. Now if you want to get a mix of all potato sizes like small potatoes also called baby potatoes some medium potatoes as well as large potatoes then what you can do is just wait for all the foliage to dry and instead of waiting for two to three weeks you can go ahead and harvest it after the foliage dies. So it's been 133 days since we started the seed potatoes and you can see a little bit of damage to the leaves here and the foliage is pretty much died all around you can see some brown leaves and dying stems. So it's time for the grand finale the harvest. So I just used a tarp here to collect all the potatoes that I'm harvesting from this rope bucket and let's see how our harvest looks like. The thing I like about the ProMix HP container mix as well as the perlite and peat moss mix that I just showed you is that it's so light and so fluffy that once you harvest your plant from it you can just toss the soil back into the pot and then after adding some nutrients you can actually reuse a lot of this potting mix. Now potatoes do need warm weather to grow and produce potatoes so you need to make sure that the temperatures are definitely greater than 45 degrees in your area before you plant potatoes. Now in Southern California where the winters are not that cold you can start potatoes anytime in fall through winter and then once spring and summer sets in the plants will grow and produce all these big potatoes that you can harvest. So as you can see here the potatoes are formed all around the soil or the potting mix that we added in the container and this technique works really well this trench technique or growing potatoes in a trench you can use this method on the ground as well as in containers and what you're seeing here is the white superior hybrid variety of potato and you can use the same technique no matter what kind of potatoes you're growing. The red potatoes are another one of my favorites. They grow really well and really fast just like these potatoes and you can also grow the baking kind of potatoes which have a thicker skin. So no matter what kind of potatoes you grow these potatoes are gonna be a lot healthier than what you buy at the supermarket because just in case you did not know the ones in the supermarket have growth inhibitors sprayed on them so that they do not sprout when they are on the shelf. And I had no clue of what these growth inhibitors are until I looked it up and the names look scary to me. So here are our potatoes and as you can see we have a mix of all potato sizes. We have some large potatoes, some medium and also some small baby potatoes. So once the potatoes are harvested just clean them very thoroughly and then once the potatoes are clean they will store on the shelf for quite a long time. Now if you want to store a large number of potatoes 
you can use a place like your garage and keep it well ventilated. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I know that there are many ways you can grow potatoes. You can grow them in rows, in containers, in trash bags or pretty much anything that you can think of. So how do you grow your potatoes? I would like to know what varieties of potatoes you grow and which ones are your favorites and what container medium do you prefer to grow potatoes or do you just grow them in the ground? I'd love to know your opinions and I'll see you again soon. Happy gardening!